So in the overnight session, sellers were active around the 55, 33 half high volume node. And since then, we've seen a test of yesterday's low and a breakdown attempt below it. Now hitting into the open or intermediate and bigger picture bias will continue to be bullish and our short term bias will continue to be neutral. And the main question is going to be whether this overnight weakness is now going to continue and result in a proper multi day balance breakdown or our buyer is going to step in and the market is going to put in yet another failed breakdown attempt, in which case ES can continue to balance within the recent multi day range. So early in the session, how the market behaves at the 55, 14 half to 21 half aggressive resistance, as well as the 55, 0275 to 0975 initial support is going to help us answer that question. Holding below the aggressive resistance zone would be a sign of continued weakness. And from there, if we get a proper break and hold below initial support on broad market weakness and sustained downside momentum with the Nasdaq also heading lower, then we would have a bearish confirmation. And the lower the market pushes, the higher the odds of buyers stepping in, especially since we are now heading into a couple of holiday sessions. So tomorrow is a shortened session and then the market is closed on Thursday. So do keep that in mind as you're looking for trade setups today, because given that we are now heading into a holiday, I think it makes sense to be quite selective and cautious on the trades you consider taking today. Now on the upside, if we get a breakout above the aggressive resistance zone, that would signal intraday strength. It would help cement the idea that the market has put in another false or failed breakdown and it can lead to a test of the initial resistance zone at 55, 31 to 41, where sellers may still be active on first test. But if ES is heading higher on some really decent upside momentum, then we could take out the initial resistance zone since the market would have put in yet another failed breakdown attempt and a break and hold above initial resistance would serve as an intraday bullish indication, which could then bring the 55, 47 quarter to 58 quarter area into play where sellers may still be active on first test and a break and hold above that zone would serve as an intraday bullish confirmation, which could then bring the 55, 63 half to 64 half area into play with potential to test 55, 72 half to 75 half. And by that point in time, the market would be exhausting the range potential of the day. Now, given that we are heading into a holiday, it seems unlikely that we're going to put in a range exhaustion type of move to the upside. But that's something that we don't need to figure out right now. We can determine that based on the real time intraday situation. So that is the market context and plan heading into the open. Let's see how the real time situation shapes up and how the market behaves at the aggressive resistance zone and the initial support. That's going to help us determine the bias on the day and we'll take it from there.